Gymnastics is movement. The essence of gymnastics is showing what the body can do, what the mind can do. And if you put those two things together, you can do some pretty insane things. Different skills and a variety of techniques. There's so many. And it's just so interesting that you can always be better. So to chase that, I think that's why I like it so much. This is the science of gymnastics with Yule Moldauer. I'm Dr. Ellen Casey and I am a sports medicine physician at HSS and I am part of the Women's Sports Medicine Center and I take care of all types of athletes including gymnasts. My name is Yule Moldauer and I'm a men's artistic gymnast. Imagine if you ran a mile every single day on your legs and your arms and you kept waking up and doing that. You'd probably be pretty sore and pretty beat. How long have you guys been together? 18 years. I'm happy as coach. This is my son. Right? Yule is an incredible gymnast, and you can see that he possesses so many different components of what you need to be a great gymnast. Speed and power are huge factors in gymnastics. He's quick, powerful, strong. He's got balance. He has the aesthetic component of making the gymnastics look easy and beautiful to watch. I don't like talking about myself, but I'm a 2020 Olympian, seven-time world team member, two-time world medalist, 18 All-American, seven-time national champion, four-time athlete of the year, sportsman of the year, I think 18 World Cup medalist, and am champion, three years in a row, Pacific Rim champion. I don't know, I, I think I do this because I'm not 6'6 and 300 pounds, so I think gymnastics was a sport for me. An all-around gymnast like Yule is what most gymnasts aspire to be. So I started gymnastics when I was about seven years old. I got really attached to the adrenaline side, competing. It's high intensity, it's high stress. One mistake could become an injury, it could dislocate my finger, it could pull my ankle. There is an element of fear that everybody has to overcome. The most talented gymnast like Yule make that look effortless. Welcome to my office. Today, we'll be going through all six Olympic events in Olympic order, floor, pommel horse, rings, ball, parallel bars, and high bar. Floor is one of the two leg dominant events. It requires a ton of strength and power. It's honestly the most brutal event. When Yule is landing some of these tumbling passes, the impact of that landing is sending 17 times his body weight up through what we call the chain with each of those elements. It's a significant load to his Achilles tendon, the bones in his feet, his ankles, and his lower limb. By this time, your legs are tired. My shoulders are starting to burn a little bit. It's only 75 seconds. However, because there is so much explosive energy required, it really can deplete a gymnast. And often gymnasts will feel like their legs feel like jelly going into their last pass. Then you're done. Yeah. All right, next up, we're going to the pommel horse. I might kick you. I'm gonna back up. Pommel horse is one of the most challenging events. It's extremely demanding and technical. So it requires a ton of not only upper body, but core strength. He is building this motion as he swings his legs around and he has to control that with his core stability. It is a huge mental event. Pommel horse is the number one sport where most gymnasts fall. One of the things that is obvious when you watch you all is this balance that's required between the stability of a joint and the flexibility of a joint. His rotator cuff, the deltoid, scapular muscles, the muscles around the shoulder blade and in the front of the shoulder girdle and the pectoral region all have to be so strong. It is just intense and extremely difficult. Now we're going to rings. That's probably the event where you use the most strength, especially in your shoulders. Rings can be a very challenging event. The difference compared to pommel horse is that the rings can move and the, the pommel horse is stable. Yule does a great job with this. And as you can see as he moves, not only does he have to control his own body, but the rings themselves move. You can't have anything weak.
So the next event is going to be the vault. Vault is the second leg dominant event. It's honestly so quick, you honestly don't know what's going on. He is converting his speed into explosive power. Yeah, I salute, and then I just jump into my run. They hit off a springboard. This is when everything in my body locks up. And I punch off here. All the muscles in your body become a stiff board. If you're stiff, it's almost like a go sky high. You're gonna go 20 feet in there, maybe even 25, even higher. And all that is in a split second. It feels like I, I blinked my eyes. The next event we're going to, it's called the parallel bars. Gymnasts, we just call them P-bars. Parallel bars is extremely technically demanding. Yule has to put his body in many different positions and then control that movement and stop. This event is the most technical event, I think, in gymnastics. It's also a fairly painful event. You're on your hands the entire routine. You're upside down, swinging under the bar, and making sure you don't fly off the bar. It's intense. It's intense. Yeah, even the basics are intense. It's like coordinating a symphony. My whole forearms are lit up after a routine. It's everything. All right, so the final event is called a horizontal bar. High bar, H bar, the bar. High bar is one of the most exciting, but also one of the riskier events. It's a split second, you let go of the bar, and you have to hope you're catching on or you're flying off and landing on the concrete. You're so high up in the air, you're flipping over the bar. It can be scary at times. Grip strength is critical. It's a combination of different speed elements where you're hanging on to the bar, ultimately building up the speed to do these very high risk but exciting release moves. At the end of the day, high bar, it's scary. Sticking the landing. Sticking the landing requires a lot of strength and control. He is absorbing forces all the way through his legs at the multiple joints up through his core. You want your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes to all be engaged. He wants to have some hip flexion. Toe muscles, ankle muscles. It's like someone tased me and I'm boom. Sticking is the cherry on top of the icing. It's where you get to really show that that routine was the gold medal performance. It's the most exciting feeling. It is called artistic gymnastics for a reason. People like Yule are doing such difficult things with such precision, and they are making it look effortless. It's that one chance. You don't get to redeem yourself in the next quarter or the next half. You step up to that piece of equipment, you salute the judges, and you have to do it then. I mean, it's incredible. What does it take to be the greatest? Embrace it. Embrace the grind. If being successful was easy, everyone would be successful. He workaholic. He workaholic. It is just practice, 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 practice. It's all about consistent work, perseverance. The willingness to train for years and years and years. And it takes the ability to overcome fear. It's overcoming fears. So everything's going to be scary at one point, but are you going to let that hold you back? Are you going to get better by just pushing yourself and pushing yourself? It's what it takes to become a great athlete. It's pushing those boundaries. Pressure is privilege. Just let it rip. Yeah!